halal welcome back so i hope you are all fine there so now let me continue uh, the previous session uh, which is nothing but delivery scheduling so in which we already have gone through the process or the working of the delivery scheduling right so now see process or working of the delivery schedule so here in which we have gone through two types of delivery scheduling those are nothing but backward scheduling as well as forward scheduling see we have two types here one is backward scheduling and the second one is forward scheduling and we also have gone through how the backward scheduling works as well as how the forward scheduling will work and we also have gone through the parameters which the system will consider when we are doing the delivery scheduling so those are nothing but see here i will mention them pick pack time so now let us take pick pack time is 3 days and loading time which is two days and a replenishment lead time which is nothing but rlt which is 10 days okay so now let me take one example here if we have the material x so this is what is the material and here we have the stock of this material which is nothing but 100 in our system so now we are creating the sales order today so this is what is the sales order so for example let us take this is what is the sales order number so so this is what is the sales order which we are going to create now so here the order creation date which is nothing but today's date so today only we are creating the sales order so here the order creation date is 17 17 yeah so this is what is the order creation date and now if we take the backward scheduling let me tell you how it will work so as the order creation date is 17 and now let me take when exactly the customer would like to get this material so here the requested delivery date which is nothing but when exactly the customer would like to get the material so customer requested delivery date so here let me take the customer requested delivery date as for example 20th so the order is creating on 17 and the customer would like to get that material on 20th so now if we take the backward scheduling how it will work so here in this case the customer requested delivery date is 20th and if we consider the pick pack time as well as the loading time so if we consider the loading time of two days then it will become 18 here and if we consider the pick pack time also then it will become 15 so here three days is for pick pack and Two days is for loading. So here in this case, if we see the customer requested delivery date is twenty and the order creation date is seventeen. So here proposed date is fifteen. So here if the proposed date which goes beyond the order creation date, then 
the backward scheduling will get failed. So here in this case, backward scheduling will surely get failed. So what will happen if the backward scheduling fails? Then the system will continue the forward scheduling. So now, see, this is what is the backward scheduling. And now let me take. So here, if we take the forward scheduling, so here the other creation date is 17th, right? So now let me take 17. And here, if we consider pick back time of three days, then it will become 20. Then if we consider loading time also, then it will become 22 here. So here, let me draw a line here. This is what is for three days and this is what is for two days. So now the material will be available to the customer on 22nd. So here, this is what is the PGA date here. So here, if the proposed date, proposed delivery date, which goes beyond the order creation date, then the backward scheduling will get failed. Then the system will consider the forward scheduling and here, if we take this scenario, here the forward schedule, in this forward scheduling, the proposed date is 22nd. So now, this will get success. See, the main thing which you have to remember here is, in the backward scheduling, the system will start from customer requested delivery date. So, it starts with customer requested delivery date. So, here in this case, the customer requested delivery date is 20 years. But when the backward scheduling got failed, the system will consider forward scheduling. So, for which it will start calculating with other creation date. So, here it is 70. So, the main difference between backward scheduling as well as the forward scheduling here is taking of the date. So, here is so here is this one. So, I think you are clear with it. So, now let me give you some important points which are relating which are related to the <coughs> so now let me give you some important points which are related to the delivery schedule. So, note here, let me give you some points. First of all, system will perform the backward scheduling. Then, if the backward scheduling got failed, then the system will perform the forward scheduling. So, what it means? System always performs the backward scheduling first and if it fails then the system will go through the forward scheduling if it fails system will go through the forward scheduling okay and now let me give you one more important point here Backward scheduling got failed if the proposed date is going beyond the today's date. So that's what we already have seen. So backward scheduling will get failed if the proposed delivery date goes beyond. Order creation date. And now let me give you one more point here. System will perform the backward scheduling based on the customer requested delivery date. But the forward scheduling will be based on the today's date. See here, system will perform 
backward scheduling based on customer requested delivery date but system will perform the forward scheduling based on order creation date so these are all the points which you have to remember because these are the major points uh, which you have to remember in order to crack any interview so in the interview you may face the questions related to them so now let me give you one more point here if backward scheduling fails for example see if let me tell you if backward scheduling fails then we will get multiple schedule lines if backward scheduling got success then we can get only one schedule line right else we get only one schedule line see in our case as the customer requested delivery date is 20th right so 20 12 2022 so here confirmed quantity will be zero then we will get one more schedule line that is nothing but on 22nd it will get confirmed so here 22nd 2022 here the confirmed quantity will be 100 so if the backward scheduling got fail then we will get two uh, two schedule lines here but if we get success then we get only one schedule line so now see for example if the customer requested delivery date which is for example 25th december then we get only one schedule line here which is nothing but 25 12 2022 so on this day the confirmed quantity will be 100 so i think you are clear with this point now let me take one more point see the system will consider replacement lead time see this one system will consider the replacement rlt only if the stock of the material is not available see these are the major points which you have to remember and in the next session i will give you some scenarios which will be based on different requested delivery date as well as different order creation date so that we can able to test many scenarios i will test them in the system and i can show you them there so hope you are clear with the session and if you have any queries in this you can post your comment in the comment section then i can come back to you or else you can post your doubts in the dedicated whatsapp group so that i can help you as soon as possible thank you have a nice day Thank you bye